Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm Ahmad Faiz with uh, Masailan as your first presenter. Our group uh, will be present uh, the research title that we have been working on uh, for the assignment of digital. So, uh, uh, our title is called Advanced Traffic Light System. Uh, where it consists of three parts, main parts. The first part is uh, introduction. Uh, it shows the, the basic idea of how the system works uh, in, the, in, the, in the traffic. Uh, and it also shows why it is uh, user-friendly uh, and it's relevant to be used uh, nowadays. The second part is a design specification. It show the uh, the block diagram, the system block diagram, uh, and the main part that we have focus on, uh, which is counter uh, counter block diagram, uh, and it is the reason why uh, this system is hundred percent safe and can reduce the number of accident uh, technically. And the last part is truth table, K maps, and all the technical things uh, we have discussed in the chapter. This is our member, uh, our team member. Uh, I'm Ahmad Faiz. And the second one is Muhammad Zikri. The third one is Muhammad Hazik. And the last one is Izzat Nazmi. Problem statement. Uh, this is our problem statement. We have seen that. Uh, the old the old fashioned traffic light system doesn't always feel our need as a driver. What is meant by uh, old fashioned traffic light system? Uh, it is actually uh, a traffic light where use timer uh, to change in order uh, to make to make uh, the system work. Ha, where, for example, uh, in the junction at the junction of the road uh, the people on the other side have to wait uh, for the other side of junction to 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 get uh, the light to turn to red uh, so that uh, people uh, can move can move uh, around I mean uh, can yeah can move uh, to the road uh, so it is not so relevant uh, to be used uh, this day, especially uh, in a big city where uh, the main road is always busy and it's such a wasting time if, uh, uh, to wait even there is no car at the other side uh, and it's clearly shown that it is not user friendly and not efficient at all in a certain situation. So our objective is uh, to overcome the problem statement above and we want to promote this advanced traffic light system into our road, uh, road system, road rail, uh, I mean road system so that uh, people can benefit the, the advantages of this system and the next, our objective is to get the general knowledge of the structure of the advanced traffic light system block diagram where we as a student know how the the latest traffic light system works we can get the the whole idea the basic idea of the system so anything that we learn we understand and we know and we get the overview of the uh, the application of the theory that we learn and the last objective is to the study select the counter circuit in the advanced traffic light system as our application in our syllabus course. So next, uh, we will proceed to the introduction and I'll pass to Zikri for the next presentation. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thanks to Faiz. Now I will show you the basic whole idea of the advanced traffic light systems. If you can see the slides, there is main roads and side streets. Usually, there are more vehicles or cars at the main roads compared to the side street. Um, so, traffic light at the main road 
So the green light at the main road should have longer period time compared to the side street. But how to ensure this to happen? To make this happen, um, we make we will make timer for the traffic light. So green light at the main road is more than twenty five second, and green light at the side streets is less than twenty five second. Now this is the time requirement for traffic signal for first stage. 25 seconds minimum or as long as there is no vehicle on the side streets. This state is 25 seconds maximum or until there is no vehicle on the side street. And for second and fourth state is 4 seconds between the change from green to red for both main and side. Okay, this is the state diagram. The first state main is green and side is this state is expressed as TL plus VS bar. TL is um, longer, is long timer, and VS stands for vehicle sensor. Um, at this stage, the minimum time is 25 seconds, or as long as there is no vehicle at the side street. However, when the time more than 25 seconds and there is a vehicle at the side streets. This system will go to second stage, and this condition is expressed as TL bar VS. The second stage is TS, and main is yellow and side is red. After that, which is TS bar, the third stage is expressed as TL VS bar. Um, the third stage, main is red and side is green. Um, after that, um, it will go to the fourth stage, and this condition is expressed as TL bar plus VS bar. And fourth stage is um, question yellow light, yeah, and it will remain for seconds. After 4 seconds, it will go back to the first stage. Um, that's all from me. Next, I will pass to the next presenter, which is Aziz. Thank you. Okay, thanks Zikri for the detail just now. Now, I will further the, de the, the detail about uh, our title. And then, this is uh, design specification. This is the whole the block diagram of the whole system. In the, in the block diagram of the whole system, we have sequential logic, we have timing circuit, we have combinational logic. In sequential logic, it shows the input for sensor vehicle. Uh, actually, the diagram shows the input vehicle, timing circuit, and combinational logic. Sequential logic function as input sensor, um, which is detect a vehicle. And then, timing circuit will produce different time interval put in clock for 25 second interval and 4 second interval. And next, the combinational logic will give the output whether the traffic light will turn on the red or yellow uh, or green. And then for the next slide, the next slide show the recorder from two input will give four output, uh, which is from the output will be triggered by the trigger logic, <coughs> which will give output long or short for the trigger logic. And then in uh, in the trigger, uh, which is located in the middle of the connection. From this long or short output will determine which is initiate long or short, which long initiate 25 second clock interval, uh, short for 4 second clock interval. What make the traffic light turn on? What type of color? Is by combination of inputs in the con in sequential forms to give the combination code to turn on type of color in the traffic light. The traffic light will turn, let's say it is correct, and then it will turn red, yellow, or green. Depends on the code given uh, have been set. Okay, next I will pass to my friends uh, to explain about the detail of uh, his topic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nizan Hazmi and I will be explaining about sequential logic circuit. Uh, you can think of it as the brain of the system and uh, because it takes all the inputs, uh, the short timer and the long timer from the timing circuit 
and then vehicle sensor and sort of process all the inputs and produce to produce two output which will be sent to the decoder. Okay, uh, I remind you uh, before the hand uh, that we use Gripper for this project. So the sequential logic consists of two elements, the two bit the counter and the input logic. And this and so knowing this idea, we 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 need to create uh, the counter and to create the counter we need to know the transition state. So we've seen this diagram before. From this diagram we can get all the state the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0 and their transition. So knowing knowing their transition, uh, we, we can create these transition state diagram. Uh, actually the transition timetable. Transition table. I will list all the possi possibilities of the transition. To, to find out what the input at the default flop should be to find out the inputs here so uh, here we see 0, 0 state and if it stays the same the input condition is this TL or BS bar here as you can see this is the 0, 0 state if it stays the same the state is TL or VS0, VS bar. On the other hand, if it changes state, it changes to the next state, the input condition, if the 0, 0 state it changes to the next state, which is the 0, 1 state, the input condition will be TL bar and VS. If it changes to the next state, it's TL bar and VS. So, it goes on with the same concept for the other six possibilities and from there, we, we know what the input at the D flip flop should be. As you can see, if, it, if it's 0, 0, then it doesn't change anything and as you know, if the 0 changes to 1, then the input should be 1. Okay, so here we will get all our result and what the input at the D1 flip flop and the D2 flip flop should be. So, based on the input, and we can create a mean term Boolean expression, which is this. This is a D0 uh, where we, we, st we state it as D1 and D1 here as the D2 so the so the from this mean term we can create this expression and here we are able to create this uh, expression because of these four meters. And what we do next is that we simplify the circuit, the expression, the, the equation that we get, the Boolean expression, to a simple, simple form, either by using KMAT and or by Boolean's law. And what we do here is just Boolean's law and to, to get the simplified circuit. And from this simplified circuit, we are able to get the gates that are needed the, to be implemented in the, in the input logic so here is our circuit and then we simulate them in quarters and this is what we get and remember that G0 and G1 are the inputs are our outputs which will be the inputs for the decoder, the combination and logic. And what really happens is that for our outputs, we will be the input of the state decoder, which 
which will direct them to the correct output. S1 is the green light at the main street and red at the side street and it goes on. And light output also have its own logic circuit to produce uh, light for the main street and the side street. Uh, that's it for me. That's uh, basically how our advanced traffic light works. And thank you very much. So the conclusion is, uh, we want to recall that this project is to increase the general knowledge of the Leicester system of the traffic signal among students, so students can know the view of uh, how a traffic light system and how it relates to digital electronic uh, uh, theory that we learn. This is also an applied knowledge where important in real life other than theory learning base where students can get basic idea and more view of using counter uh, as stated before we specified the the main uh, the main uh, counter I mean the, the main uh, counter block diagram since it is our in, in our syllabus and last but not least is to promote the better structure of our graphic signal system to up to the up to date version so that our people benefited from it this is uh, the reference that we use digital fundamental 10 edition uh, Pearson International Applied and uh, the second reference is Internet Wikipedia. So that's all from us. We hope you guys, uh, we hope the audience can uh, understand and uh, can get the uh, some of knowledge uh, we share. So we're looking forward to the comment. And thank you, thank you for having us. Assalamualaikum.